Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and this will be the day 8 review of my carnivore diet. Now, I just went over everything in my day 7, I had to make up a day because I missed it. We were running around, doing a lot of errands, and just taking care of stuff, and just generally feeling pretty good on day 7. So day 8, yesterday, um, it was very similar, like, I don't know what it is this time, because I have tried this diet a couple times in the past and like it, it went from from zero to a hundred very quickly like I don't know if it was just my body getting used to it and I apologize for saying like so much bear with me I'm just I'm so excited and I want to share all this stuff with you guys but <clears throat> the first couple of times like I said zero to a hundred this time it's more the energy levels have gone up but they've sort of stabilized at the same time brain fog and I've, I've talked to my roommate about this and she agreed she's going through kind of the same thing the brain fog has lifted but it's not like like my brain is like sharp on demand right now <laughs> like for the rest of the time it's just kind of relaxed it's very relaxing and it, it feels a bit it feels akin to basically a lot of the anxiety is rolling off um there's a lot more just a just a general relaxed feel kind of going around and it doesn't feel like the crushing weight of the world is on my shoulders at all times um past that it's i'm really reaching to just kind of describe every good thing that's happened so far there have been just general cravings but i mean a piece of cheese here and there is not an issue like it, it takes care of it bacon slices really good for that we're starting to bring more pork back into the diet we weren't really eating it a lot in the beginning of the first week but now that i have actually learned how to cook it thank you youtube for helping me um it's it's become a lot better and a lot easier to eat uh, another kind of facet to go to to kind of switch up the diet a little bit and make it a little bit easier to 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 do because it the benefits are just so worth it for right now. I'll get into a longer video later talking about my all of my ideas on carnivore and especially the topic of reasons I was giving myself not to do it. And I know if any of you have tried dieting and failed, you might you might really resonate with some of those reasons. So I hope you'll take some time and, and watch that video when I do post it. Other than that, day eight went pretty well. Um, still, I have a lot of dairy still involved in the diet. I'm happy to see that, you know, weight loss still did happen. And I assume that's going to happen just because I'm so big, like being over 300. I'm assuming simple things like dairy and seasonings, if I'm not having it in mass quantities, especially the dairy, if I'm not having that in mass quantities, the calorie deficit alone of just having meat and dairy is going to have my body going through the reaction of losing weight. That's just going to happen naturally. Will it get to a point where I'll stall out? Because again, the seasonings in the milk, they don't bother me. The dairy, the seasonings, they do not bother me. So I feel okay to have them included in the diet. But if I get to a point where I do stall heavily, like months down the line, I'll probably remove them. But we'll talk about that if it becomes a problem. Other than that, just thank you guys for actually stopping and uh, watching this video, and I hope you subscribe, like, comment, support me in this journey, come with me on it, you know, experience everything that I do. Maybe it'll encourage you to want to give it a try. Maybe you'd just like to see me go from, you know, struggling to succeeding. Either way, thank you guys for stopping by, and I will see you in either the next long video or the next update. Bye-bye, guys.